I, so I recently just started with my partner, Danica, and um, we have been watching all the videos. We've been doing some role playing and um, I was role playing with my boyfriend and he, he, don't, he knows I do a little bit of real estate, but he doesn't, I didn't give him any, um, uh, any ins and outs on this process. So he pretty much just asked whatever he thought would be, um, you know, what he would want to ask if it was him in the situation. So I just wanted to get some clarity on some of those uh, responses that I got because I wasn't sure of how to respond to those. And I want to be prepared if I do get those kinds of questions. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. most of them kind of pertain to the, just the safety and condition of the house while it's temporarily still in the person's name. So he was asking questions like, um, you know, what if something happens to the property before I get paid out or, um, what if, uh, uh, yeah, so that, that, that particular question falls into a group or category of questions, which all boil down to essentially, uh, what if your tenant, your buyer, Shade, what if they tear up the house? Yeah. And the best response I've ever heard to that is just to tell them, I'll either fix it or I'll sell it as is, period. In any of these cases, less is always more, okay? So the less you can say, the more concise you can be with it. Uh, and the faster you can just cut them off and be like, look, this is not something you need to worry about because I mean, I'll either fix it myself or I'll sell it as is. And that eliminates their concern. Okay. Have you, ever, then, have you ever come across a situation where the seller um, may want the house back before? No, Take. typically they want to be done with the house. I don't ever want to see this house again, that kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you'll, you'll find like, you know, uh, when you start talking to seller leads, you get on the phone with the right seller. I mean, they're just, they're putty in your hands. And so we have to be the good shepherd, of course, and come along and, you know, we're not trying to like, take advantage of anybody, but we're trying to help them out of their situation, out of their problem. And we use that closing call script to explain exactly how we do that in as much detail as necessary, but not too much detail. Again, less is more.